Hi, this is Dave Soberi with Patch.com. We're here at USC for the City Section Semifinals, and no one's hotter than the number one ranked Chatsworth Chancellors. During their current nine game winning streak, they've outscored opponents by a combined score of 87 to 11 and are looking to win their eighth city section championship in 13 years. The Chancellors are ready, so let's go to the highlights. Christian Lopez starts the game off right with two strikeouts and it's scoreless after one. The top of the second was more the same for Lopez, who sends another Birmingham batter back to the dugout. In the bottom of the second, the big cleanup batter, Brady Conlin, pulls it down the left field line for the base hit, but gets gunned out at second, trying to stretch out a single into an extra base hit. So it remains scoreless after two. In the third, Christian Lopez goes right back to work with his fourth strikeout, but the Chatsworth offense still couldn't get anything going. So it's tied at zero at the end of three. To the fourth we go, and Birmingham has two men on base. The Patriots capitalize when Randy Medellin comes up with the RBI single to give Birmingham the one nothing lead. And now, the bases are loaded when a new Chatsworth pitcher, Angel Rodriguez, comes in and catches the hitter fishing and no more damage was done. In the bottom of the fourth, the Chatsworth bats still have yet to catch fire, so the score is still 1-0 Birmingham after four. In the fifth, the Chatsworth defense gets out of trouble when third baseman Ryan Escobar makes the play at the hot corner and alertly steps on his base for the force out to end the inning. Birmingham's pitcher loses control in the fifth and hits three consecutive Chatsworth batters to load the bases. And the Chancellors take full advantage with the squeeze bunt by Jared Holly, scoring Ricky Obando to tie the game up at one. And good news for Chatsworth, the bases are still full of Chancellors. So the stage is set for senior Stephen Carkenny, who does his job with the high bouncer to short for the RBI. And Ernest Prado, come on down. It's 2-1 Chancellor with five innings in the books. To the top of six we go, where Ryan Escobar makes the web gem with the diving catch and fires the second to make the amazing play. In the bottom half, Raul Kama starts the Chancellors off with a line drive to right center. After a Birmingham error, he makes it to third base while Ricky Obando takes first. Then, Kiefer Kaufman shows off his Jets by beating the play out for an infield single. And Camus scores to give the Chancellors a 3-1 lead. Later, Chris DeVito shows patience to draw the walk and the bases are juiced for pinch hitter Chris Carlin who sends it the other way for the RBI single, scoring Ricky Obando to make it 4-1 Chatsworth at the end of six. The game ends with a nice play by shortstop Brady Conlon, and the Chancellors are headed to Dodger Stadium. The final score, the Chatsworth Chancellors four, and the Birmingham Patriots one. We have prepared for this since the beginning, the beginning of the season, and now that we do have it, we're going to show everything, show all we got, show our hard work, how hard we practice, and it'll come up on the field. Right now, we're just, we're just playing as a team, working as a team, winning as a team. There's, there's nobody that's carrying us. There's a new guy each, each game that carries us. So um, we're looking forward to it, and, and it's going to be team effort on Saturday.